Okay, it's time to review this. Red Dragon DD. Magnetic. Pretty cool. In a box, you get stickers. Actually, usable. Pretty nice. Tools to remove keycaps and switches. And four extra brown switches. Extra. I will review this Red Dragon. I need more time to feel how it is. It's brown switches too, but it's kind of is different. Overall, you get something. Not like I reviewed this garbage. Razer Tartarus Pro. You don't get nothing, just e-waste. Video link will be down below about Razer Tartarus Pro garbage. That's how it's called, garbage. Okay, this thing. It's by cable. And guess what? USB-C. And you get extra USB. Okay, we don't not gonna plug. Wire is okay. It's good enough. Wrist rest. It's actually very, very comfortable. But if you want longer, just buy magnets and stick here. And of course you're gonna able a little bit move, but while you're playing, it's not gonna move. But for me, I try different ways. I think it's it's really good. I'm not gonna show RGB. I'm gonna leave for you when you're gonna get it. But RGB is really nice. Not like compared to this garbage. Not even close. Okay, in previous video I didn't show Razer Tartarus link below all around keyboard until I didn't forget. This is wrist thrust, magnets, and here is connecting. It's pretty thick, heavy, and USB. Okay, RGB, I decided to show because they, they are cool. Okay, it has five modes. It goes one direction and you can change in app to another direction. And here, passed without trace. One second. You can adjust color or different colors. Then, you can adjust speed. Another mode, ripple graph. Another mode, fast and then something. It's basically changing colors outwards, but you can change inward. Inward. Let's go inside. And then normally on. Green, red, blue. It has. One, two, three, four, five macro keys and four profiles. This is record. Press record. Macro keys, what you want. Of course, you need a longer keyboard and then hit G key. I use app, not this. I didn't figure out yet how to use it. It's macro keys actually really good. Let's say I'm recording gameplay. Before I had to Alt F9, now I have to just press this, G2, and it starts recording, and stop. And this microphone, F9. And here fits everything what I need for gameplay. Space button, very comfortable. Easy reach, easy press, and it presses really good from all corners. G key more like flimsy a little bit, but there's no problems at all. Small update. I already got used to, to this keyboard and I don't feel like play anymore on regular keyboard. I got used to really fast and I love this space button. And this is my map M keyboard. 
Real nice keyboard. Perfect. Keycaps. It's really nice to have small texture and loudness. Not too loud. It's okay. My microphone probably can hear different, but it's good. And P, it should be here, but they put it down there. It's actually a smart idea. And with the thumb, you can reach easily. Even if you have, even if you have smaller hand or bigger hand, you're gonna able to reach. G and T, it's good. It's actually wider. And same, you can easily reach. All this you can remap how you want. I'm not sure if you can launch app with these G keys through the app, but there's a different way. I will gonna make video how when I can review this because here is two half. Five G keys times four 20 macro keys. But you cannot launch application. This is kind of sucks, but there's other way around it. You can macro key any actually key, keyboard. It's quite heavy. That's I like, it's not light. Feels, feels more premium this, than this garbage Razer Tartarus Pro. Overall, I tried many, many days, played. Does it gonna make you faster? No. Why? Because you can see other YouTubers saying, oh, it's going to make you faster and uh, mechanical switches react faster than mushy membrane. Bullshit. Why? I playing years with mushy, like $20 keyboard. I'm going to show in a different video. And I switched to this one. There's no speed improvement at all. I mean, at all. It's registers? It's registers faster, yes. You press a little bit and it's already kind of registering. Membrane, you have to press down. But how to avoid the register same time? You just move fingers faster. It's not a problem. When you play, you anyways, you move fast your fingers. If you move this way, there is no difference between mechanical or membrane. This is all BS, marketing BS. But it is definitely really good gaming keyboard. I got this because I don't wanna use this for games. How, how, however I could, and I need a little bit so I can turn on the side easier. I got this for 30 Canadian dollars, new cost I think 70 or 80 Canadian dollars with the blue switches from Amazon. I would give 9 out, of, 9 out of 10. 10, I don't know, it's stretched. But 9 out of 10, I would say it's perfect score. However, this garbage, I would give 1 out of 10. Not 0, because Switches are nice. Yes, switches are nice. V different video. Link below description about this garbage. Overall, if you want to give as a gift somebody, a gamer, I think they're gonna like it. Overall, this is really nice keyboard for games. Really nice. I loving it.